Hello everybody, welcome to the GPS Essentials Quick Tutorials. Today I want to show you how to create custom maps. And all you really need is an image file of your map. You can scan a paper map or export files as PNG or JPEG. And then we use Google Earth to create a KMZ file from this image. And finally we import this into GPS Essentials. We want to import this awesome historical map of Death Valley from 1913 that I found on usgs.gov. It's a GeoPDF file and OSX Preview can export it as a PNG. Adjust the resolution so that the image file doesn't exceed 10 megabytes. If you run into issues, try an even smaller image resolution to reduce the file size. Especially on older devices, RAM is a limited resource. So let's open Google Earth. The first thing we do is we create a folder. And now we create four place marks at the corners of the map. Uh, the bounds of the map are 36 and 37 degrees north and 117 and 118 degrees west. Um, we will use these place marks later to properly adjust the map image. And now we add the image, create an image overlay. And select the image file. And now, it, now we drag the edges of the map so that the place marks align with the corners of the map. You can also click on Convert to Let Long Quad if you want to drag the corners independently. And use the transparency slider to check if the map is properly aligned. But don't forget to set it back to OPAC before you export. And when you're finished, remove the place marks. Now right click the node to export. And now we have a KMZ file that we can copy to the device and import into GPS Essentials. You can send an email or just copy it to the SD card. And in GPS Essentials, we create a new stream and swipe to import the selected file. Tap on Start. And here is your map.
you're going to start the stream to make the map visible uh, while you're working with other streams. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And if you want to learn more about GPS Essentials, visit gpsessentials.com.